Hi guys, Andy here, and welcome back to the Untrue Geordie, episode 5, I think. Yeah, uh, really iffy session, last session. Um, I didn't have a lot of luck going for me, <laughs> to be honest. That's, to be fair, like, lucky to get a draw there, probably. Uh, but this one was really unlucky. They only had two shots on target. My keeper actually let me down on that one, and my defenders, as you can see. So, poor performance, really, even though the attackers done their jobs. Uh, their keeper had a good game. Fraser Forster's really highly rated in this. Crawley, obviously in the cup, yeah, it's always going to be a bit of a walkover. And then we were really unlucky at home to Manu. We played really well. I, th I mean, it says that, but that wasn't the, s the score line. Uh, 63 minutes, Clark got sent off, and it was quite tight. And then they came into it a lot more at the end, and we just held on for the win. So, uh, yeah, and then we had the Crawley game, which was nice for morale. And then away to Liverpool, we, we just didn't play well. They battered us, really. Um, their attack attack line is phenomenal. And our defence crumbled. Um, so, yeah, not good in that sense. Uh, let me just double-check. I did this. Is it worth discipline? I don't think I did discipline people for bad performances. So, let's have a quick look. So, Diame. Yeah, let's discipline his experience. He shouldn't be doing that. It's a poor performance. Uh, Mbemba. He's an international discipline. That's poor. You're better than that. And Hedera. Hedera, yeah. That's discipline. Poor performance. It's a bit much, but do you know what? Turn up and you won't get that. Um, okay, so we got home games coming up, which is nice. I mean, Arsenal, Stoke, and a week off in between. Uh, so, fingers crossed. When was that game? So, yeah, we've got a week off. So, everyone will be fit. The Cells is back into the team. Hayden is captain in the side. Oh, I'm clicking quite fast, aren't I? Sorry, guys. I'll try and slow down. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to stick with Diame for a bit. Because he's got nice stats. And he hasn't let me down before that, really. He's been fairly consistent. The 5 take him under a 7 rating. Uh, the work rate is really important. I'm giving Atsu and Richie a run. What's wrong with Perez? Yeah, he's done all right. Uh, it won't hurt him to be out of the team. And improve like because Atsu stats took a really big leap. So he, and he played playing really well. So we're gonna give him a run. Richie is really reliable, but he's the one that will be dropped. I think out of all of them, uh, Murphy he hasn't he hasn't improved, but he played well in the cup against Crawley. But everyone did to be fair. Um, dilemma: Mitrovic or Dwight Gale? I'm gonna go for Mitrovic because we're at home. And uh, Dwight Gale hasn't really, he just hasn't scored. So uh, the other dilemma is, do I bring Dummett back in? I think I do. I think Hedera kind of shot himself in the foot there. Uh, and Dummett didn't really play badly. He didn't do great, but he didn't play badly. So let's give him another shout. Uh, Richie, uh, how bad is Richie? He's been all right. Give him a little bit more time and then uh, we'll maybe put Perez back in. But let's crack on. I'm not going to drop the keeper yet, even though, because he actually, <laughs> I mean, he had a good game there. Even though he just got bombarded. He kept it respectable. The rest of the team really didn't turn up. So, yeah, we just have to write that one off as uh, just what it is, just a way to one of the big teams. And we didn't we didn't perform. If we perform, we can get a draw or win, I think, with the squad we have. But, you know, you have to perform. Hayden signed good contract. Yeah. Good money. Like I said, this is the new values in the new database, so it's times two. So if it was the old database, he'd be on like, what's that, 13, you know, 13, 7, 5, whatever. Uh, so it's not too bad at all. Uh, and he is going to be important to the way we play. He needs to kick on with his stats. Hopefully getting some games will do that. Moreno, yeah, reserve. Woodman, Woodman, yeah, 21's cool. Yeah, still got some really good youngsters in the reserves. Should we have a quick look to see how they're progressing? Yeah, Marisic positioning markings up, which is nice. Just didn't want to get his tackling up, passing, all of that other stuff up. Uh, sure. Yeah, same for him. I don't think, I'm not sure if he has kicked on, but he's got plenty of time. 17 year old. Dasar, oh my god, Dasar's starting to look like a monster. I'll be honest, he's already progressed better than any of our midfielders in the first team. Um, and I'll tell you what, another really bad performance. I'll tell you what I might do. Do that. I'm thinking of moving clubs. Does anyone actually want you? No. 
We'll do that. We won't. We'll put. A, we'll do that. Uh, we won't rush to selling him. We'll. Uh, he's alright. I'm. I'm gonna bring him into the first team, but I'm not gonna play him. He's just too good to be in there compared to what we've got, and he's. He's already at a level where he can compete really well in the, in the in the first team. It's fantastic. Uh, we'll give him some game times, but not not. I'm not going to overuse him. So yeah, that's really really good to see. We'll leave him at a hot prospect until the point where I feel like he is in, actually going to be playing regularly. Um, he's older than the other two lads, so I've got no problem bringing him up earlier. I was going to leave it till January, but if we put um, Shelby on the transfer list, we'll see if we get a nibble for him. Because he's on, he's worth a bit of money, and he's just not good enough. And I'll be honest, if I can get Desart into the team sooner or later, if the army keeps uh, putting in average performances, then uh, then we can just crack on, and he'll have to step up. Yeah, sign the contract, good lad. Who are you? Yeah, you're not good enough. No determination for this lad. He's got a good all-round game, but it's just no determination. Um, the reason this guy isn't good enough, FYI. Determination only 13. If he's a left-back, he's all right, I guess. Because he's got a bit of pace. Probably is a left-back. Technique's not great. I mean, he's not the worst player at all. He'd probably cost a bit of money, but uh, I wouldn't sign him uh, just for the lack of determination and work rate. And if you're a left-back, I'd like to see technique higher, to be honest. But yeah, even balance is only 11. But generally not bad. Uh, I've been playing around with this formation a little bit. I still don't know it inside out, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I got a feeling, just like my old formation, because uh, in my sibling rivalry, I, if any of you guys have watched it, kind of struggle to score goals at home. Teams park the bus and it's like this. Um, and I feel like I probably need to go a bit more mixed passing like I do. So... I'm going to keep my eye on that. Because away from home, I think I I don't have trouble scoring generally. I think teams are less defensive when I'm when I'm away from home. I mean, I'm Newcastle, so I don't think too many people are going to be defensive against me straight away. But you never know. Um, but yeah, I just need to w watch out for that. All right, the reserve's got a draw. And I played all right. Roland Aaron's done got the goal. Moreno done well. It's a shame about his balance, honestly. If he had balance, he'd be he'd be twice the player he is almost. Marisic and Scherz at centre half, that's a bit shit. Are they playing? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I don't care. I've got to see something. If my if my reserves no, so oh Tony's on the right. They're playing Shelby at holding midfield. Okay. Okay. Look at that reserve team though. Wiltshire, Ozil. Fucking boys done well to get a draw to be fair. Right, uh well, yeah, we've had some shit res results with oh don't be taking my players away from me. Uh, we've had some uh, pretty iffy results uh recently so we definitely need an upturn in form. I'd like to... I mean, we're only doing a shorter video, so if we can get through four, four or five games, you know, I want to win them all. I'm great. They have. They've taken away my fucking players. The army wants a contract. Mate, you're 30. you got a two-year contract. I don't think you're going to get one. Sorry, mate. Uh, that's really shit. Uh, really shit. I mean... Colbeck's a really efficient replacement with a work rate and stuff, but I've got no creative players in that midfield at all. I mean, I'm playing Arsenal, so perhaps the work rate is really important. Um, but, yeah, I would love to have had uh, one of my star men available. And it really pisses me off. And uh, if anyone that does the, the update for this, can you explain? Because in real life, this just doesn't happen anymore. Players are not away for on international games during any games any domestic games or European games so this is bullshit and this keeps happening um, and I'm not happy about it 
Um, and I'm gonna, I'll probably have a word in the forum about it because it really is stitching up games. And I don't know if it can be changed, but it's fucking not acceptable. Right, let's go. Yeah, if you see my sibling rivalry, I had like semi-final, quarter-final games, and Firmino and Coutinho were off playing in Brazil. You're like, what the fuck? In what planet would that ever be the case? So that's, it's kind of like sat in with me with that as um, they're playing that. So we can't attack it because we will get picked off. But hopefully we got space, and I'm hoping Mitrovic uh, bullies their defence. But we need to defend and keep well. So. Hopefully Atsu on the break. He's got good off the ball, good technique. And uh, hopefully he will be the uh, supply line for Mitrovic. Quite a tight game. Obviously Arsenal have got class up top. So again, another reason we can't overly attack because they will just pick us off. Um, so let's try, hopefully try and pick them off. Yeah, Matt Ritchie. He's on a six. He's Okay, I think Perez... My right back struggling as well. Okay, let's do. I'll do Matt Ritchie. And I'm going to do Perez because I want to keep it tight at the back. And then uh, I'm going to bring Gale on because Mitrovic is getting very tired. I'll bring Gale on as an impact sub towards the end, assuming no one else gets sent off or injured. Right, here we go. Yeah, Mitrovic is on 76% fitness. Team are playing a really solid performance. Uh, pleased with that. Uh, deserve to be uh, level at least. So let's see if we can nick a golden towards the end. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Keep it tight. Let's nick the goal. To be honest, they look like they're going to nick the goal. They come right into this fuck. I tell you what though, we stood up for ourselves there. Guided we couldn't nick the goal. Really guided. Arsenal played really well there. They thrown everything at us and they couldn't get anything. So, direct football. Yeah, because Arsenal played direct. They don't play short passing all over the park. <sighs> oh well. Uh, not the worst result against a really uh, good side. It's not, this isn't... <laughs> Look at Cockerland there. It's fucking well overrated. Uh, so yeah, they've got top top players all over the park. Uh, a bit overrated probably. Um, but yeah, we, we fucking stood up to that. So I'm, ple I'm proud. That's not a bad game to come back to. Not the worst result. And they're not really the games saying that I really wanted top four with this. But, you know, I would like to have nicked, nicked a draw out of that. I'm going to put Richie on the bench. I'm going to give Perez a run on the right. Perez is blowing. Why is he? I got a week off. It's fine. I got a week off. Clark's back, so he can go on the bench. Hmm. I'll have to have a look at my subs. Um, and see how. How how long am I going to keep? Finley. Okay. Sorry. Uh. That's a surprise. I haven't seen something like that for a long time. Like, never, I no, don't normally see uh, West Brom sell players to China. Uh, Finley, he's just rubbish. So he can go on a free. I don't care. Um, what I, I will need to have a little um, look at my squad. Uh, Clark, his stats have dropped since he's been out. Lejeunes have gone up, which is lovely. So he's definitely going to be on a bench in some capacity. The defence done really well there, so I do. I might do that. Put you on the bench. You become the number four, and Richie is my winger sub. Uh, Save, whatever his name is, is back. Uh, and I'll, it's harsh to drop Cole back because he didn't do anything wrong. I think I'll put Cole back on the bench. I'll use the Sar. Uh, Let's see what he wants. I really don't want to have unhappy player for a long time, um, if I'm honest. And there's just no need for me to have an unhappy player, even though he's he's old and he's got a two-year contract. Um, he's still going to be useful. Let's hope he signs out and just shuts up. You want a contract, no? So look, if Stoke come in with like a twenty million pound bid for this guy, 
probably going to have to accept it. Uh, he is good. Let's see, 20 million, maybe. Maybe not a Stoke. I don't know. I'd like to have him for the year. Maybe we just hold on to him until the end of the year until we get ad adequate replacements because it's not going to be easy to replace, to be honest. Uh, not yet, anyway. He did sign it. Good art. Right, and just shut up and crack on then. Uh, Van der Boer, determination of one. He used to be really good in one of these updates. Really good. Uh, yeah, they've uh, free transfer and nobody wants him. Still got pace and work rate, but Jesus, technique. Uh, determination one, shocking. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Isn't it? Bit harsh on Colbeck. What was his actual stats? Yeah, put himself about really well. Passing was okay, acceptable for the amount of passes he had percentage-wise. And he did win tackles and he won headers, so he really did a job. Uh, he put him, the army had a good game. I'd say Colbert probably had a better game, if I'm honest. The army didn't do, he made half as many passes, but he completed uh, probably a slightly better percentage. Uh, he won the same amount of tackles. One was more key, but he lost both his headers. Um, Hayden in holding midfield as captain led like a fucking captain. That is brilliant. That's a great performance he had there. Good pass completion. Won loads of he won a lot of tackles and won all his headers. Um, and Ben had a good game. The cells. Yeah, really pleased with that. Um, we should look at the right back, I guess. Um, he is an older right back. Let's have a look then. He's played pretty well. Manquillo. Maybe we give Manquillo a run of games. Um, he's not the worst defender at all. And um, he's got a lot of pace. Oh, he hasn't. I thought he had a lot of pace. In fact, this guy's actually faster. Okay, what's my next game? Homer Stoke. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give Manquillo a run of games. I need to keep an eye on potential ins and outs. This guy wants to come to me. This guy's class. Okay. Uh, are you in the reserve team yet? No, you're not unhappy. Uh, we, we are going to need a right back at some point. Jack Hunt. He's sometimes good. He, uh, his technique's good in this one. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Ben Woodburn. He's been really good in one of my ones, but um, yeah, okay, we have to be really careful. We can't afford, because of the money we have, we can't afford to make any mistakes with our transfers. They all need to come off. I've made, uh, in my sibling rivalry, not only did I um, play a formation that ended up, I figured out it wasn't really, it was good, it just wasn't, uh, it had a hole in it, so I had to adjust the formation, which meant I needed different types of players. So I've had to piss about in that game far too much, and it's kind of winding me up. Um, and everything's going wrong, to be honest. Uh, haven't I haven't uh, managed my haven't managed it very well, if I'm honest. So yeah, kind of disappointed how that one's going. But you can't, it can't always be perfect. So that one's just a struggle to get things right. Whereas I'm hoping you, I've got the formation I want off the bat on this one. And I'm hoping I just lay all the, the foundations of building blocks from the start, which allows everything to come together a lot quicker. Yeah, I was just having a, a talk, uh, a chat with a friend of mine about. Um, He's saying he's gone. He's fed up with playing non-wibbob formations because of the inconsistency. Uh, look at that Arsenal actually. Look, they were top of the league. Draw probably wasn't the worst result. Um, yeah, and we're talking about non-wibbob against wibbob tactics. And he's saying he's never going to play non-wibbob again because of the inconsistency. He's a uh, he's an attacking mentality player, like so narrow formation, goal out, and then he'll get done on the break and things like this, which I know will happen, which is why I never play it. But he really uh, he doesn't believe there's any other way of playing. He thinks uh, normal mentality isn't possible. Um, so he's still inconsistent. And I said, yeah, it's going to be. The players are inconsistent. They have a consistency stat 
on their on their attributes. So you have to manage bringing and out on form and things like that. And it is going to be annoying. It is going to be frustrating. But you, you just, the whole point of manager, it's not supposed to be perfect. Oh, look at him. He's kicked on beautifully. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy's going to be immense for us. Really going to be good. Yeah, uh, he said he's going to go um, with Bob tactics, like iodine tactics. And to a degree, or he's going with Bob anyway. And he's going to play against the harder AI pack to even it out. And yeah, the harder AI pack will um, will provide um, much harder tactics to play against. They'll also be kind of like almost as good as iodine tactics maybe. I don't know if they are. Uh, but I, all I know is it's just plug in and play. Uh, the results will be more consistent because it's going to be a lot harder to score for both teams. But it does mean you're just literally playing one way of playing and you buy best, the best players are going to win. And it has nothing to do with formations or managing your team. It's just about how quickly can you get the best players, plug in that tactic and win to it to a degree. And I just... It's just not really what I wanted from a manager manager game. I really wanted to be able to micromanage and see. Like if you see in my other one, uh, I've got two world class fullbacks, and one of them plays really well in the big game, and the other one doesn't. So I now know out of the two, right? He's my go to guy. The other one will become backup. You know, you sort of see these things where you go, I've 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 made the sort a holding midfielder, and I've realised you know he's done a great job, but the other holding midfielder who isn't as good statistically does a better job just because he's probably got a 20 for holding midfield. And I have to sort of like, I've decided to put the start back in midfield and buy another holding midfielder just to get that consistency and things like this that I just think you, you have to see all over the park to see how it goes. Um, anyway, but that's, I could go on all day about it and we haven't, this only a short video so I won't. But um, yeah, let's crack on, right? So Perez is in, we've got our midfielder back. We give him Manquio a run. Uh, Defence play quite well, so I'm really pleased with them. And Mitrovic is going to get another game, so uh, everyone's fit. Next game isn't for another week, and then we're at home away at West Brom, which can always be tricky. So anyway, anyway uh, away game. So they're playing that as well. If we can play, put the same effort in we did against Arsenal, against Stoke here, then we will be fine. I think uh, really slow start, but that's fine as long as we keep it tight. Come on, Alexander Mitrovic. Well, we're playing the better stuff. We've not got many shots on goal, but hopefully it's just a matter of patience and waiting for our opportunity. Fucking Shakiri, mate. Oh. Right, they're coming into this. Uh, Lascelles, of all fucking defenders. You're having a fucking shit game. Oh, f all right, I'm going to try something. I'm pissed at the keeper as well. All right. I'm gonna go mixed, and I'm gonna try and create a little bit, a little bit more. I want to see how, an experiment a little bit, um, just to see if we can get the ball forward quicker to the wingers and the striker. Uh, I may take off Mitrovic because I haven't seen his name pop up much, uh, and I just don't think he's doing enough. Again, we're the better team. I got a feeling I got to go mixed at home just because teams just defend more or are less cautious, and we can get the ball for, for further forward. Uh, Perez is having a poor game. You're done. Oh, Isaac Hayden. I'm just going to rest. I don't want injuries. Yeah, keeper can be captain. Oh. Come on, lads. We can fucking get a point. We don't deserve to be losing this. Come on. It's scored against the runner player as well. Fuck me. It looked tight at the end. They were not even in it and they scored. <sighs> Ah, shit. I suppose that's the difference. They've got one, probably one fucking world-class player in their team. Well, a top player anyway. And that's this fucker. And he's the one to fucking score. Fuck off. Alright. Okay, let's do that. Let's take a chance. Uh, the army. How did you actually play? You played all right. No need to drop you yet. Hayden played well. I had to take him off. He was dying. Um, 
it doesn't say anyone was playing badly. We just didn't create enough and score. Um, it's really annoying. I know it says they had nine shots, but we were eight shots and four on target, and they scored from one. Um, I bet you if I had a free kick. No, it wasn't. Uh, Shakiri looked for the pass from Afla. Afla sent the ball back to Cameron, picked up the ball in midfield, angled the ball out wide, out right for Juve. Juve putting a low cross from the near post. So he made a run and a low drive. It may be down to the keeper. Oh, fuck. I think he's been so good I, and it's still early. He's only played 10 games. I want to drop him yet. He will get dropped at some point. But not yet. He was next, we'll give him another run. The next, uh, the next shit game he has, he's out. Because I don't know. I don't know if I can blame him for that. Because Shakiri's obviously run off. I assume the right wing. Yeah. So our left back, who is dumb it, is slow as arseholes. It's good positioning though. And he had a good game. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I didn't look how you played Salve. Yeah, he played all right. I don't. Uh, just didn't take our chances. All I say, we we had we had enough shots to fucking win the game, or at least equalise. We let in a shit goal or a goal, and we didn't score. So, yeah. Perez, yeah, okay. Come on, Gale. Right, come on, Gale, man. I was rel I'm relying so much on him, like doing a job. And letting in one goal isn't the end of the world, but we should be scoring more than this. This is not good enough. And the players aren't that bad. They sh they sh they're not bad. They're not bad. Oh, fucking hell, he's kicked up a notch, look. And Perez played shit, do you know what? Fuck it, go on. Go on, Matt. Um, Clark. Oh, his stats going back up a little bit. His jumping's gone up again. Um, he will come back in as soon as this guy has a bad game. Lascelles is a bit fucking worrying the way he's played. Uh, he's done alright. He's done alright, but need to see his stats jump up, like marking positioning, marking especially. <coughs> That'll be v uh, vital because uh, if he keeps losing markers or runners. That make runs into the box and you yeah, never be good enough, sure. Okay. Oh, this guy was injury prone, right? He's not in the other ones. Yeah, he's injury prone. Fuck. He's not in the other ones. That's really bad news, actually. Because, you know, you just want a steady centre half pair that you can just plug in, like go on YouTube. I can rely on you, crack on. And if he's injury prone, he, would, he may be one of those that's just like he ends up being a third or fourth choice because you can't rely on him being there every week. You don't want to overuse him, so that's really disappointing. Ah, oh, fuck me. We need a result, man. This is crazy. How many? That's two games we've slowed up. I ain't scored a fucking goal. Uh, yeah, of course. All right, you've lost your places then, and I can't believe they just took them away. Uh, okay, that's fucking ridiculous. Alright, Defender, Lejeune, I'm going to put Dessart and Murphy on the bench. Give the fullbacks another run. Gail, please fucking do your job, mate. Rondon's a pain in the ass. Yeah, Rondon. Fucking hell. Alright, we're playing shit. So, we're going to have to change this up at half time. Oh, we had a shot. Come on. We're actually coming back into it. Why are you fucking dying on your ass again? You got a long-term injury or something? I don't know about. Fucking potential die injury. Right, we'll start to come back into it. I don't want to go attacking if we're already playing well. 
so let's give him a time. I'm going to have to take this guy off because I really don't want to be losing him. Um, left back is struggling. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, I, I got a feeling Atsu's actually playing well. Go fucking hell. Uh, Coleback's having a shit game, right? Let's take Coleback. Gale, fuck, oh my god, can you believe it? Let's bring on our youngster. He's in. That's all our subs really early. But we're playing better. We're not losing. Let's try and hit the fucking winner. Keep it tight at the back. Come on, Desart, super sub me. This. Matt Ritchie on a five. What, I think he's playing that badly. Lascelles again with the six. <sighs> yeah, didn't do that bad. I don't think they had a lot. Look, I didn't have another shot in the second half. <sighs> but Rondon, I think Rondon injury fucked him. Almost like a one-man team. They lump it up to the top and this guy just fucking is dangerous. But, on the plus side, we didn't lose away from home, which is good. <laughs> and fucking Dwight Gale got a goal, can you believe it? Um, Clark done well, dumb it. I don't know what to do with you, mate. I'll keep going. You didn't play badly. Actually, you did. You did fuck all for quite a long time. My problem with this guy is he's a bit of everything but not much of anything. Whereas at least Dummett is he's got some height, his positional work rate, he's got a lot of really nice stats, he's just a bit of a cold, he's quite slow, but he's stamina slow. I'm, I wanna give him a run. Uh Coleback had a shit game to be honest. Diame, how did you do? Played really fucking well, okay. Lejeune done quality when they come on the holding mid. Hayden done really well to it, but he got tired really quickly. Lascelles let me down more than anyone, if I'm honest. Right, what's the next game, and how long? Bristol City in the Cup. Probably will have to B team it. The players are quite tired. Make some changes as much as possible. Where are we? I bet we're right down there now. Look at that. <sighs> Who did we lose to? Oh, we just the, the home loss to Stoke and the home loss to fucking Southampton. Those two were the fucking jokes out of it. Away to Southampton, to be fair, but we played excellent. So these games were really fucking harsh. And I'll be honest, I think we could have, we should have won both, uh, which would have been a massive difference. We would be third. That's how different. Jesus, just a bit of fucking. We're playing well against the tough sides. Oh, apart from Liverpool, actually. But Arsenal, man, you we got draws. Let's make some changes. What I may do is I may play Manquio in the next this one. In fact, I'll play this game then I'll save because um, we're climbing up to that time on the video. Uh, I'm the Chelsea to come back to. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll play this game. Um, Manquio. Yeah, he's kicked on since playing, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, all right. We won't play Manquio in this game then. We'll save him for the Chelsea game. And we'll play our, play our play beating players. I know we want to run in the cup, but I also want to do fucking winning the league. That's what I'm waiting for. Boom. Laters. How have Reading got that? How have Reading got 11 million? Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to play. I'm tempted to give Carl Dolo a run. I think it'd just be good for this guy not to, uh, to be dropped for a bit. Just for his development. And good for the team, for competition. 
I think that would be a good uh, good time. Play the backup players. Um, Hayden's not in this one. Clark, yeah, you haven't played that much. Mbemba's back. Lascelles, you need to find form, mate. Even though I will say this statistically, other than jumping. What's your jumping? Your jumping's really good. You're a bit of a beast in the air. I'm just looking at... Um, Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Lejeune, Colbeck, Desart's getting his first start. We're going to go Perez left, Murphy right, Mitrovic up front. Oh, Bemba, uh, Hayden. Yeah, you've been away. Five. Richie, all right, so we'll put Richie on the bench. Manquia on the bench plays both positions at uh, fullback. Okay, captain is going to be Lejeune. Yeah, still don't speak English. Okay, let's go. I really don't want to put Lascelles. He's got to start proving to me he's first team player. I know he's got the jump in and a lot of good stats, but he's playing like a twat. Um, to be honest, so. And I like holding the field as being the captain. Let's see how we go. Away to Bristol City. It's a bit harsh to bring Darlow in on an away game, but we'll see how we go. Be good to see how uh, the start does with a start. Oh, there you go. Be good to do well in the cups. If I can't get my target of top four, which I'll be honest, after the start I've had in the league, it looks very unlikely I will because some really iffy results. But I haven't made wholesale changes. I am trying to play the team. The players I have, but I still would have expected to have done slightly better. But so maybe I uh, consolidate the league and just have a good couple of cup runs, and then build for a, a good league run next year, which is a bit disappointing to be honest. Right, let's have a look at fitness. The cells having a better game. Everyone's fit, which is lovely. So I can give them 90 minutes, and still have an eye on the next game. Again, I don't want to say we're playing great, but I guarantee they're attacking. No, they're not. They're going normal mixed. Well, that's their problem. Very nice, solid performance like that. Okay. Dialo had a good game. Good lad. Uh, Mitrovic scored, which is nice. I want really good competition up top, uh, which means I want them both scoring. Uh, Mitrovic at the moment has been a bit of a flat track bully. He's beaten the Crawley. He's got two against Crawley and one against Bristol City. So, which is kind of what you'd expect from a, a really big striker when you're all over a team, or you're having in their box more. Whereas on the counter, you'd imagine Gale's the man to the man to go go to. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna save it there, guys. Um, that's uh, this episode done. Uh, again, some really dodgy results mixed in. Even though the results weren't always great, some of the performances were quite good. And uh, at the moment, it just feels like we're still finding our feet. We've uh, loaded up. We've had a draw. That loss against Stoke was a kick in the dick. I ain't going to lie. Because we was playing well when they scored. Um, but we still, we still need to find our form. And we need to start fucking scoring goals. We played a bit better against West Brom. Well... We got a better result against Wait West Brom, which can be dangerous. And then we won the cup, which is always important. Come home to Chelsea. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a good game to come back to. Really fucking hard game. But, yeah, we'll see if we can get a result. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.